Hi guys, me again. Um, right, been talking to a few people. Um, and basically, um, they're getting a bit confused about um, um, the lens effect on the coil. Um, um, I mean, some of them seem to think um, that uh, the lens effect has been completely used up. Some of them think uh, the lens effect has been completely cancelled. Unfortunately, neither is correct. And yet, at the same time, both are correct. So, um, I thought I'd uh, do a video and just explain what's actually going on in terms of lens effect. Right, first of all, just an update, number 7 I think, um, as to where I'm up to. Right, let's take a look. There we go. Not sure if you can hear that or not. As you see from the coil, it's now got a generator coil on the back, which is wound directly onto the core, and there's a generator over the top of the bifiler. So additional capacitor bank there um, adds um, 4,800 UF to the 17,700 UF that's already there. Ok, still the same setup. Uh, both multimeters are on charge, charging the batteries because they've gone flat. So I've just used crop clips to uh, bypass the normal link that I'd have for uh, measuring uh, current draw. OK, generators are there, two high voltage caps there from one generator and two medium voltage there from the other. Um, capacitor size doesn't really matter as long as the, uh, the voltage rating is above what the coil can generate if it's not connected. OK, so as you can see there, uh, just showing the gap between is approximately two millimeters at the moment. Um, it was bigger than that. Uh, right, got some batteries. Okay, so forgive the camera work. Uh, try and find a spot where you can actually see it. Right. Okay. This is what's happening at the moment. Hopefully you can hear it thumping and I'm going to disconnect the power. Right. You can still hear it trying to power for a good uh, five seconds or so after I disconnect the power. Right. But, well, I can hear that the amount of noise from each pulse is actually uh, reducing at each pulse, so it's getting quieter. So, still need to generate more power. Oops, try again. Okay, spin it back up again, and in a moment, well actually, I can do it back here, right? Hit that there. Wonderful. Just going to uh, disconnect both voltage doubling rectifiers from each of the generator coils. There's one gone, there's two gone. And if you can hear it, there is no noticeable change. Right. OK, which one have we got? Right, generator coil on the back. Right, I'm now going to short out the uh, voltage doubling rectifier. Take a listen. You can hear the uh, change, and you can hear and probably see that it's slowing down. 
Does it stop? I will soon find out. It does indeed. Right. So the one on the back causes it to stop. That's better. Right. Back up to speed again. Right. Now we're going to short out that coil. That generator coil. Hang on. That's better. Come on. Back up to speed. There we go. That's more or less it. Right. Until instantly that's a different sound. However, even though it is being completely shorted out, it's not stopping. Even though there is a reduction in power. speed come to think of it. Take off the short and there's a change in sound. So the coil on the back right, is producing a lens effect. But here's the interesting thing. I can't show you at the moment because the multimeter's out uh, being charged. The coil on the back the lens effect causes additional power to be generated in the circuit within the bifiler coils, right? But the generator coil there does not. Right? Hence why right, the generator coil on the back causes it to stop eventually and the generator coil around the bifiler coil does not. So, there's a good one on um, lens effect for you. Um, so, I mean, um, the lens effect caused by this coil on the back causes additional power to be generated, but the one that's wound around the bifilar coils, the lens effect from that has a negligible effect on the rotor, um, but doesn't cause the bifilar coils to generate more power. Um, so, less for the two evils there. Huh? So we're not completely getting rid of the lens effect. We're not destroying it. We're not um, um, going against the laws of physics. You can see it's still there. What we are doing is basically some of it we're using. Right? Now, the first question that's going to be on everyone's mind is, why only some of it and not all of it? Simple reason being it comes down to efficiencies. Um, only a certain percentage of the lens effect will ever get used. You will never be able to use all of it. If you could use all of it, then creating the device that self-sustains would be a hell of a lot easier. But there we go. Okay, any questions, comments, um, feel free to email me. Um, anyone that wants to um, add me to MSN, uh, feel free to do so. Just send me your uh, MSN address. Okay, talk to you later.